This video aims to give a quick overview of the um, latest solution I've got going to convert the Apple 2GS uh, video output to RGB. Um, the first thing that got me thinking about this was the SCART pinout. Now, this adapter here will take um, the unusual composite sync on pin 3 to um, horizontal sync pin 13 on the VGA side. So that is perfect for using 15 kilohertz VGA monitors or scalers that take VGA um, at 15 kilohertz. Um, one of the benefits to this box over the RGB SCART solutions on eBay is that you've got full control over the um, digitization of the video. And one of the reasons I'm showing you this is that I've found the optimal settings. So I'll just take you through a quick change of um, what I consider optimal. Have a look at how things get blurry as I change that. Whereas if I go to 1042, from right to left, everything gets nice and stable. Um, and then from there, with the correct digitization settings, you can adjust things like zoom to scale it um, to the um, size that you like. And that's just under picture controls, where you can also adjust the position um, without affecting the pin striping that you've just gotten perfect. So. It also correctly identifies progressive video um, without deinterlacing it. Um, therefore, as you move your mouse across the screen, there's no shimmering effect um, that those uh, cheap RGB SCART converters unfortunately introduce as they don't pick up that it's a progressive signal. This Extron box does no deinterlacing, um, so that's a benefit to us. It also takes uh, VGA signals from older DOS computers and also things from like the Atari ST. Uh, it's compatible with those as well, but the settings I've got um, recorded here are uh, just using the 2GS monitor cable into the Apple adapter, straight into the Xtron, and then out to HDMI. Um, it also does output resolutions that are CVT and DMT compliant, so um, we can go and select video timings like 1080p60, 480p, but then go into our monitor resolutions here as well, so very helpful. They are... Um, it, rather, it is compatible with 4x3 as well, so if you're using a real VGA monitor, um, you can lower that down there. Anyway, hope that was interesting. Thank you.